Hi, my name is Riley and this is group number 45 for Biology 116 with the basic life cycle of a T4 bacteriophage. This right here is a regular E. coli cell and on the cell surface you have lipopolysaccharide proteins. T4 comes in contact with the cell and scans the surface of the E. coli looking for an optimal penetration site. This is usually where the cell membrane and cell wall are closed together. When the T4 finds a good site, the phage contracts its tail sheath and injects its viral DNA. The viral DNA then transcribes and translates early viral proteins by using the host cell's biosynthetic machinery. One of the first proteins made is an enzyme that degrades the host DNA. Viral DNA is protected because it contains a modified cytosine not recognized by the enzyme. The CH2OH group is responsible for that. The host DNA is then degraded. The phage DNA replaces the host genome and uses nucleotides from the degraded host DNA to synthesize new viral proteins and more viral DNA through more transcription and translation using the host cell's biosynthetic machinery. The polyhedral heads are then filled with copies of the viral DNA. The phage components then spontaneously assemble into what is called a virin or an infectious particle. To get the virins out of the E. coli, a lysosome that is specifically designed by the viral genome digests the cell wall. Or another way to do it is that there could be such a buildup of the T4 bacteriophage the cell wall will eventually explode, releasing numerous T4 bacteriophage to go on and infect more E. coli.